Many people who live in Holt dealt with power outages and damages from those severe storms yesterday. Our Daryl and Horn caught up with a few of them today. She's here now with a closer look at the damage. Daryl and what are you seeing out there tonight? Sherry, we've been driving around mid-Michigan all afternoon, and we've been seeing power lines, broken tree branches, like this one we just found right before this live shot here on Elm Street in Holt. And though this looks pretty terrible, you can see a power line there and broken branches here. We were in one man's yard earlier this afternoon, and it was some pretty bad damage. And the power lines in front of his house actually fell in front of his home and were sparking for over 12 hours. It's been a day full of yard work for Brandon Childers in Holt. How are you going to get this all cleaned up? Just myself. I have the chainsaw, so they shut the power off. Um, uh, I don't think it's going to be worth it for me to make an insurance claim. He says a big gust of wind was the beginning of some dangerous storm damages as trees knocked down power lines right in front of his yard. I was up north working, uh, and then uh, wife said that she heard a big bang and looked outside, and a big branch was down, and the internet was out, but the power was still on. And then uh, neighbor started screaming and honking her horn because the, the side of the house, the weather mass popped off and it just kept sparking. The downed line sparked for several hours. Childers says his wife was terrified. Well, I had the fire department call it in at 4.30 last night. And then they were here, so about 12 hours. So to come and shut the power off. Everybody was fine and didn't land on a car. So that's great. That would have sucked. That's something another man in Holt can't say. One neighbor from Holt says a branch from his tree right in his front yard here fell right onto his brand new car over here once the storms began to pick up last night. It doesn't look like it, but there's scratches on both rear panels and on, and on the tailgate, so I'm going to file an insurance claim to get that repainted or touch, touched up or whatever. I was just like really bummed out because, you know, I've had this truck for a short period of time. It was like perfect. It's like pristine. There's not like a problem with it, not a scratch on it. But even with the damage left behind, both men are glad it wasn't worse. But yeah, no windows are broken, so everything's good. Now, Consumers Energy wants everyone to know that if you see any power lines like this, to call 911 or Consumers Energy right away. And we want to tell you also in Mason, Michigan, they are picking up branches just like these for residents' convenience. And they just want everyone that lives in Mason to just put all the branches in front of the yard on the, cur on the curbside so that the city can come, come pick those up for you. But here for you and Holt, I'm Darlin Horn, 6 News.